Guess Steve. who closes us up? Stephen Schaefersman. Go ahead. Thank you, Chairman McLaren. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to speak today. I also want to thank the state board members who voted in January to keep good science education in Texas by voting to not allow the unscientific phrase strengths and weaknesses to stay in the science standards. This was, after all, the intention of all the scientists and educators who wrote the science standards. These scientists knew that strengths and weaknesses, that phrase, which dates from about 1991, has been used in the past only for one reason, and that is to attack biology textbooks for their evolution content. The, the phrase is not really used anywhere else. It's not, it doesn't, it's not applied to chemistry books or physics books or environmental science books or anything like that. Now, I will say no more about strengths and weaknesses since you know my views on that. I want to discuss the amendments to biology and earth and space science. All of these, and these amendments were passed in January after some little debate. All were unnecessary, and two were very bad and unscientific. I want to focus on these two unscientific amendments, numbers 8A in earth and space science and 7B in biology, which are discussed in some detail in the paper I'm handing out, although I'm not going to read from that paper. Let me address the January amendment process in general. The rapid pace, fast talking, and citation of references and experts was confusing. Subsequent examination by me and other scientists showed that these were not reliable references and experts. The, uh, the so-called experts for earth and space science turned out to be a, a chemist and a non-scientist from the Discovery Institute. These are not experts in earth and space science, and they had no reason to write those very bad amendments, 13 of which were proposed, but only five passed. Second, state board members were not allowed to consult their science advisors and experts to discuss these very complicated and technical topics before they had a chance to vote. Some were unsure about what they were voting on. If scientists had been able to discuss these amendments with the, with the board members, most would not have been successful. Now, I call this, this process unprofessional this morning in a press conference. Uh, this, is, this is frankly not how we should be revising science standards in Texas. Science standards should be revised on the basis of careful consideration by scientists, science educators, not rapidly after a few minutes of talk. Now, let me be specific. The five amendments to earth and space science were unneeded. One, 8A was very unscientific. The text uh, provided to the members did not indicate that these important, that much important information was being stripped out of the standard. This, this, this was not shown by strike through text. This information. Um, thank you. Thank you. You may finish your sentence. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, there were many uh, unfortunate things that happened during the debate, specifically about 8A in Earth and Space Science and 7B in Biology. Thank you. Any questions? Well, thanks. Thank you, everybody, for being here. If you didn't get to testify, please bring us uh, any written testimony over here. We will uh, be, we'll put it on top to read. Thank you very much. Our hearing is completed.